Hey gang, it's Jeff from the James Freddy's channel and we're back setting the trunk pan in our 67 Camaro. So we had some kind of lofty goals set for last week. I was hoping to actually have the trunk pan set in, any manipulation needed to be done and marked out and probably even prepped for weld. But we ran into a few things as far as just being able to slide it in there. Plus, I picked up a new, a new little TIG welder over there. So I've got it to where it's set up in here pretty nice. There's a few issues that uh, once I get the pan out, I'll be able to uh, hopefully play around with a little bit and uh, we'll be able to continue on. One minor issue I'm noticing is in this area from the stamping and then uh, bumper reinforcement welding, the p uh, floor pan's bent a little bit. Here at the frame rail flange all the way along, I'm getting really nice fitment, but there's a third bracket in this shock mount cross member that's in here, and it's kind of left a little bit bulbous, so I'm going to take uh, my hammer and a spoon and smack it down flat a little bit, and hopefully that'll allow this area right here to set a little better against the frame. Get this floor pan out of here and uh, onto the stand so we can start drilling our plug well. Here's that bracket that we're going to go ahead and flatten out a little bit. And then I've also gone through and marked all my plug welds. The ones from here forward. We'll be getting welded through the frame rail and into the cross member. And then along here, I've just gone ahead and marked the edge of the frame rail and the location of each factory spot weld. So we know how thick our flange is, and we'll go ahead and be able to put at each mark a hole where we need it. We'll go ahead and knock this area down so our our tail here kind of flips up to fit along the frame rail better. Same thing over here. Just make that a little bit smoother. Now I don't know how precise you guys get, but I'll break out with the plastic metric calipers from Big Lots and or Harbor Freight whenever possible because I like that kind of precision in my work. We'll start off by... <laughs> we'll start off by drilling an eighth inch hole and then we'll step them up to five sixteenths with a unit bit. Holes are all drilled. Areas are all prepped for the back weld. Been shaken up and put one coat of the zinc rich weld through primer on and now I'm going to put the section. At this point, our frame rails have been all cleaned up and hammered and dollied all nice at the flanges. Weld through primer has been applied to the frame rails and now I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and take this cross brace out before the floor goes in. I think it's going to be more advantageous to go about it that way. Here is that tail light inner cross member brace panel. And now we've got the floor going in. It's pretty level. A little bit of tweaking to do there. Here's all our clamps going in. Everything seems to be hitting on the mark, so we'll keep going forward from here. All right, now here we go. The floor pans are all clamped into place. I've gone ahead and use the technique I learned off my buddy Tommy Shu first, but I've also heard it in several other places, and that is to take a Q-tip, a little bit of lacquer thinner, and go through and clean a little bit of that uh, weld through primer away from the spot of your plug weld. Uh, the frame rails themselves are 16 gauge, and the floor pan itself runs about an 18, probably closer to a 19 gauge. Um, 
So I like to do my plug welds a little bit hot, just the way that I go for it. So I've got it set at the maximum part of 16. I'll do a few test panels, see how I'm liking that. And then I'll do a plug weld or two on the floor here. And we'll continue on. We've got a few more plug welds to do along the front and then we got to dress our welds. So trunk floor pan is 99% in. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride and stay tuned as we continue on in the car. Thanks so much.